the new HF series filtrator arrives disassembled and it's worth familiarizing yourself with the various parts before you put the machine together. The process of assembly is very simple. Place the cart on the floor and slide the container into position. Place the power unit on the shelf with the suction side facing the container. Cloth or paper filters can be used with the nickel plated screen. Take the screen and make sure the slots are parallel with the opening in the filter envelope. Check that the spacing between the threaded spigot is the same as the spacing between the hole and the side. Do not try to tear the paper to make it fit. Hold the open edge on top of the screen and slide the clamp over to hold the filter in place. Select the stem pipe and screw the stem nut onto the screen. Place the filter screen assembly into the bottom of the container with clamp toward the rear of the machine. This will line up the union nut with suction side and hand tighten. The discharge nozzle is now placed in the nozzle holder for convenience while the other end is hand tightened onto the discharge side. Do not use a wrench. Take the cover with the long cutout and carefully slide it under the power unit. Then take the front cover lid and attach it to the four slots on the cover to form a hinge. Find the peak filter. It's a durable, reusable filter. Place it in the container opening under the lid, making sure it sits snugly. Now the filtrator is ready to be used. It is easily moved around the kitchen and at a convenient height to fit under the fryer drain. To use the filtrator, the fryer should be near working temperature, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Turn the fryer off, then screw the drain pipe into the fryer valve before wheeling the filtrator underneath. Make sure the peak filter is in place under its lid. The lid prevents oil splashing. The filtrator should be switched off before plugging it into an electrical outlet. Add the appropriate amount of filter powder to the fryer oil to aid the filtration process. Open drain valve and allow the oil to flow into the filtrator. Because the oil is hot, some parts of the filtrator will also get hot. So care should be taken not to touch the container. When almost empty, take the discharge nozzle and hold it over the fryer. Then turn the filtrator on. The oil is now used to flush the fryer and remove sediment and food particles that can be hard to get at between the fryer tubes. The sediment circulates back into the HF80 and is quickly removed by the filters. It's important both the peak and the paper filter are in place for this to work properly. In one easy operation, the oil and the fryer are cleaned. The drain is shut and the filter oil returned to the fryer. Because this oil is still hot, the fryer can quickly be brought back into use. The peak filter will last indefinitely. The paper filter can be used a number of times depending on the size and condition of the fryers. The filtrator should only be cleaned once it has completely cooled. It is easily stored in a convenient place out of the way. Please refer to the instruction manual for more details.